this is where I need to start planning. Um, I think an industrial zone here is pretty nice because that means I've got two mines boosting it and an aqueduct is going to be important for me to stick on that tile. So I think that's pretty good. So yeah, we'll stick the, we're gonna stick this down now. We'll stick the industrial zone down pretty soon. The reason I wanna get an industrial zone going quickly is because a great engineer, I can plonk him down and use him to boost the Oracle. 290 production for an Oracle, 215 granted and one boost. It's pretty good. And I'm just gonna hold off sending an envoy to this city-state because I have a feeling it will disappear in like a turn. I'm just gonna get one archer in because these barbs are starting to surface from the south and that's um, a little bit worrying actually. Okay, right, this, oh, this scientist is really important that we push her through. So I'm tempted to just do one campus research grant in order to push this through. It would be really, really handy. Um, especially because we haven't got Pingala going just yet. So yeah, you know what? I will do that because this is an amazing scientist for us. That's three, three techs, which if I isolate the techs to what I've actually haven't already got, you can see it's going to be classical or medieval era, but all of these are pretty damn good techs actually. So yeah, we'll have to wait for that one. Oh, and we've got barbs to the north as well. All right. Actually building an army has got to be an important thing for us as well. Oh, there's a lot to do. A lot to do. I think for now the most important thing is to just retreat my army a little bit, make sure that I'm defending rather than attacking. And then if the barbarians come to me it's a lot easier for me to deal with them, especially because they're killing Scythia scouts at the moment instead of attacking me. Oh I lost my warrior, that's not good. And you're about to kill my iron mine, don't do that. Oh yeah you are as well. Okay I've got one builder charge left, that's not the end of the world, I can go and fix it but honestly, why are you doing that? Uh, do I want to upgrade to a swordsman at the moment? No, I just want to bring this archer in a little bit more. Yeah, they pillaged it. They pillaged it, how dare they. But I did take that encampment, which is three era score, which is good. If I can get to a holy, uh, I got a heroic era, I should say, or a, sorry, a golden era, that would be a good start at the beginning of the game. There you go, like that city-state did fall in the end. Never mind. Okay, now that I've got astrology, the next least likely thing I'm going to do is own two galleys. So let's do that quickly. Okay, we just finished one of our projects. That means we've got a big boost of scientist points. Uh, I'm just trying to get within range of being able to buy this person out with faith, but somebody's getting three points per turn, which is a real problem for me, actually. Don't like that at all. I'm going to do one more project, see if I can boost it through. Okay, we've got craftsmanship now, which means I could get a gogi if I wanted to. Ilkum's pretty good as well. Military tradition is boosted, but I would like to get to political philosophy so I can actually get more scientist points. So let's go for state workforce. Building a government plaza is going to be really handy because I need to do that in order to get another governor. Okay, offering an AI iron is never a bad thing if I don't have the gold to, to use it. I'd rather take more gold per turn, I think. Yeah, two gold per turn is all right. I will trade that because I just need that little bit of gold just to help me through these early game techs. All right, they're pretty close. Somebody's pretty close to earning her. They may pinch her, but next turn I have my uh, campus research grant going through. So we'll see if I see if I snag her. Okay, there's the Palgum, which gives me a bit more era score and gives me construction, which is really handy because it's a lot of extra production. But look, here we go. We did win her. We won her. That gives me education, um, which is a fantastic policy upgrade. And I just need to get her ready. So she will give me three random technologies from the classical or medieval era. Now that I've got her, I don't need to boost her immediately or use her immediately. I need to basically wait until I've already got rid of all the techs that I'm likely to get. So building an aqueduct, for instance, I might be able to do. Building three arches, I might be able to do. Ancient walls, I should be able to do. Quarry, I should be able to do. Stuff like that. So I need to just wait with her until it's only going to be the stuff that would really matter. I'm also going to just clear this marsh to give my uh, Babylon just a little bit more food. Oh, Celestial Navigation, Mathematics and Engineering. That's a good old combo, that one. Blimey, that would have been good to pick up. Never mind. Now, here comes the first industrial zone. I need to build these pretty quickly. As I say, I want to get that wonder construction. That's going to help the Oracle being put down quickly. Okay, let's see how bad this barbarian problem is. It's not the worst, actually. I, I've seen it a lot worse. 
I need to keep settling in order to sort of clear these areas a little bit, but like, there we go, population has just been put down and I'm just going to stick my great scientist and get her to go to sleep for a little bit. It's not a bad move. A normal era is not a bad era. That's fine. Okay, actually Scythia in a golden era. Fair play. We're going to get free inquiry. Um, get myself era score every time I get a Eureka with Babylon. Should be pretty often. We also finally have our first governor, so let's start to get Pingala into Babylon. That's an incredibly slow start in terms of governors for us, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just now descending upon this uh, encampment down here. Just want to see if I can sort of squeeze that through. And let's get a lumber mill in. That gives me mass production, which is way, way down in the Renaissance era. So I can now build shipyards and Venetian arsenal if I want to. I don't actually know what a harbour is, so you know, building a shipyard may be a little bit ahead of my uh, my lofty ambitions at the moment, but you never know. What I will do though is I'm just going to put a government plaza in on this second city. Uh, I was going to get an aqueduct on this tile, so really I wanted to put it there. 85 gold is, is a sort of specifically large amount of gold. I wonder if I can trade 70 with Scythia. No, they'd only give me two gold per turn. Uh, no, I can't do it at the moment. All right, well, just keep an eye out for that. You know, I think just for the sake of actually getting the thing down, I am going to put Government Plaza down quickly where I was going to put the aqueduct. I'm going to put a campus down here. I think it's worth it because I need that governor because I need Pingala in with grants uh, for when I get the oracle going in order to just sort of boost through this quickly. You can see in terms of tech, I'm on 15 techs as opposed to Scythia's 10. So we're doing all right, actually. We're doing all right. But what I need to do is to keep an eye with Babylon on some sort of high-powered attack that I could pull off. So for instance, owning two crossbowmen gives me Pike and Shot. Pike and Shot actually is going to be probably the best way for me to attack, uh, especially with Bombard. So to getting two crossbowmen means I've got to earn three archers. So really, building archers has got to be something that I really consider doing soon, especially now that I'm killing all these barbarians from all of these different places. Here we go. Industrial zone done. Workshop built. Nice. That is really, really good. That means we're going to be getting ourselves uh, great engineer points. 60 turns it'll take to get him, um, which is which is too much, really. I mean, I could get power gum. I'm just thinking of things I could use to get my uh, get Babylon really rolling. I could get a Gogi soon, which would help me to get the archers up to get crossbows. I mean, realistically, we want to go to the wars as soon as we can. So, yes, I think actually getting ourselves an archer or two is a good idea. Although, am I working all improved tiles? I'm not. So I am actually leaving production on the table. So let's go for builder first. Okay, we're not going to meet three city states, but I can now get Pingala in. And it's more important for me to get Connoisseur because science is useless for me. Culture is way more important. Okay, three turns off now building the government plaza. That means I will finally get myself grants. So that'll speed up the engineer production. Okay, these barbs are just absolutely brutally chasing after me at the moment. <laughs> oh, I need more of a defense force. I really do. Okay, there's the builder. That will give me a little bit more production. Let's finally get archers going. And in we go for grants. Nice. Double great people. Points. That means I'm now getting four engineers and four scientists. That will help a lot. Okay. Wonderful. Someone's built the great bath. An unmet player has finished building the oracle. Wow, I jumped on that quick. Turn 66. All right. Well, that's that plan gone. Never mind. That means we've got other wonders. Don't worry, every plan is better when uh, when you've sort of adjusted it for your own feelings. Finally starting to spit out some archers now. Good. Two turns, we should have crossbows. Oh, and she's giving me straight up gold for open borders. Great. I'll take that. There you go. There's machinery. I just need two of these crossbows now and then I can get pike and shots. The crossbow is 250 gold. So I need a lot more gold if I want to do that. Although I probably could get it from Tamiris. Uh, if I sold her my relic, I mean, she's probably going to give me everything she's got for that. But we'll, we'll we'll hang on to that as an idea for now. Okay, Sikhism is being spread to us, which means I could use my thief to train warrior monks. Eh, pretty useless really. Doesn't really help me at all. Okay, finally en masse, we're now going after this barbarian encampment. They will not survive after all the terrorist 
activity be been throwing my way. I just don't like it at all. Right, I mean, Saivia have got horsemen. That appears to be the worst of it, so Pike and Shot actually will probably be a very effective strategy against them. Let's go with Classical Republic for now so I can get the economy um, policies in. We've got builders going. We have got a Gogi going. I have got... Um, let's go for first envoy. Counts as two. And I think we should go for extra cities. There we go. Look at that. That'll be good for now. I need to produce some army in the meantime. Um, they just seem to have walked out of their tribal hut or their encampment, which is just a mystery all round. Next thing I'm going to force through is masonry. Trade route, pasture, uh, walls, kill a unit with spearmen, classical life. I mean, to be fair, a lot of these actually are not going to happen anytime soon. So I might as well just, shall I wait until masonry is done and then do it? Because masonry is just like so low. In comparison to the others yeah let's wait until masonry happens and then i'll pop her now that we've got political philosophy don't forget great library is something i could go after but the statue of zeus would also be quite good archers spearmen and battering ram but i think let's go recorded history instead for now oh someone's across the sea from us that's quite exciting okay um the next thing i want to do but i mean as i said we've got all kinds of stuff we need to do but sending a trade route is an important one so just get a trader for me quickly we uh, need to focus in on text. I'm getting a monument in Babylon and then I'm building a crossbow. Two crossbows just built will get me what I need in order to go after Saivia. Actually, to get to her, I've got to take out all these barbarians. Oh, that's a huge amount of uh, death. Just death and destruction in that area. Yep, and I just lost, uh, lost my unique unit immediately. I mean, he was pretty weak, to be fair, but still. That's uh, slightly painful, that one. Luckily for us, the barbarians are doing that thing they do where they just sort of just move all their units slowly into my land one by one. You get right masonry. That's good. That means if I just build myself an ancient wall now in five turns, let's get this trade route going so that I can maybe. I, mean, I really want to send a route to Scythia, available routes. Okay, I could send one from Babylon. I'll do that just to build myself a little bit of a road. Okay, anyway, masonry is now done. Uh, the next question is, do I wait until Ancient Walls is done? No, I think actually, oh no, make a trade route, I'm just going to about to do next turn. Uh, build Ancient Walls in five turns, you know what? Yeah, fine, let's, let's just work onto Celestial Navigation. I'm just going to keep waiting. Again, there's no rush on this guy. There you go, six gold per turn actually does help. And there's currency. Nice. Uh, four turns until Ancient Walls, yeah, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth waiting. Can I take out the encampment? No, not this turn. At any rate, there is the first crossbow. That's exciting. That's very new war tech for me. And with this, I should be able to take out the encampment. There we go. Bit of Iverscore, bit of gold. Lovely. Should we build some spearmen? And then I can actually upgrade a spearman into pike and shot. So there you go. Pike and shot and bombards. Lovely. Oh, we are on a roll at the moment. This is good. Just one more turn. Actually, I can just build one. Can we just build one? Let's do it. Always worth splitting. I mean, actually, no, I say that. I was going to split my production up a little bit, but industrial zones are important for us to do. I'm just actually, I'm about to get a little gold from that. So let's just quickly build in a monument and then we'll sort of work in that direction. But yeah, look, we've got, we've got a high tech army compared to Saivia right now. Okay, engineering done. My city has a crossbow attack in it. That means it'll take care of those guys pretty quickly. Um, okay, if you pillage my stuff, I'm going to be very, very annoyed with you. But here we go. Um, just looking at what we've got. Build a pasture. I don't have an easy one available to me at the moment. So that's fine if that goes through. Uh, classical era wonder. Unlikely. Kill a unit with spearmen. Very precise, that one. Um, no, I think actually I'm just going to activate her. Buttress. That's a good one. I was never going to build a wonder. Castles. That's a good one. Ancestral navigation. Ah, oh, okay. That's that's the, the rubbish one. But you know what? That's not the worst in the world, actually. I'm actually saving my faith as well. I might be able to pinch this scientist. Building a harbour now in my port city. That will help. Building three workshops has got to be a pretty good thing. And two forts in my territory. That's easy enough to do. Own three musketmen. Owning three musketmen. Uh, build an armory. Build an aqueduct. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the next route for me, isn't it? Okay. Um, in that case, for now, the, the the hardest one for me to do right now, kill a unit with spearmen, I think. So let's just put some text into that. 
just gonna get some maize out of that tile okay 155 gold i got from that one i could upgrade another archer with that and oh well, you're in a mood to trade are you that's good 109 gold i can get from that okay that's pretty good just all upgrading gold pike and shot is a thousand i need for that so it's, it's, it's quite a lot I can actually getting rid of some iron i can pick up 67 gold almost 69 not quite um but this will actually let me get two more crossbows so i'll do that all right so here we go one crossbow upgrade and the next turn i'll have another i'm a great person there's the wonder construction lovely let's city build one more district than normal that's also quite good for my capital as well good okay well wonders what wonders do i want uh, i've got the harbor being produced there so i could actually wait until i get my favorite which is the undiscovered thus yet where is it um uh, mausoleum of hericia carnassus is that where does that live I can never tell oh there it is defensive tactics so I could get that. I could get Mashi. No, I can't get Mashi P shoot. Kilwa? Hmm. Not a very useful one, that one. And I could just wait until I get the Great Library. That'll help. That gives me loads of text. So, should we do that? What does it do? Uh, but, but, but flux land next to a campus. So, putting my campus there means that I can't do it. So, I'm going to have to build another campus, which actually I should be able to do pretty quickly in this city. Yeah, let's just pop it down, actually. Okay, let's do that. All right, just taking a little bit more gold from Saivia just because I'm you know, on the verge of going bankrupt, which isn't great. But we should be able to. I'm just sort of pinning down her swordsman here. Uh, sorry, um, horseman. Uh, but I think we're, we're on the edge of being able to attack now, which is quite exciting. Oh, the Great Library just got built. Okay, well, let's reassess. And, oh, wonderful. Where's this? Plus two science from each great work of writing. Okay, we can give um, two envoys to you. And now suddenly that's a three. Brilliant. Oh, okay, right, it's being killed by Serbia. Okay, well, that was a bit stupid. Never mind, it was fun while it lasted. Well, at any rate, I think wartime it is. Let's declare a surprise war. We're gonna try and take her units out whilst we've got all the crossbows kind of like next to each other, ready to attack. We'll sort of pin her in. Hopefully, she'll be so busy taking on city-states, she won't really notice, but I've got pike and shot on the way in three turns. Okay, okay, the city-state is attacking me. Well, that that's, means it was kind of pointless to uh, attack it, but that's okay. That's fine. We, as I say, we've got crossbows on the way. These things are tough. Let's just bring you up and go ka-chunk, ka-chunk. Nice. Um, Spearman, I just need you to sort of stay, exist, and we'll start to pillage. Pillaging is wonderful. We need to do as much pillaging as we can. Uh, that's a holy site under construction. Okay, not a problem. And we're doing decent damage against the city. That's pretty good. Okay, now that Pingala is set up, um, Magnus is the next one that I need to get set up in my second city with all production so I can start to get some settlers up and running. Okay, we don't need a Gogi anymore. Let's instead get great scientist points, builders, production. I mean, it's all wonderful. I like that. It's all great. It's all about we need to sweep in and do this as quickly as we can. We are focusing where we can on taking out enemy units because those things are really tough. Uh, I'm just trying to think of the best thing I could do with the spearman. I could attack. Let's attack, just weaken that warrior a bit. I mean, I can pillage this and get some faith in a second. Okay, the spearman did kill somebody, which is wonderful. Um, okay, I, I, I need gold pretty desperately. So let's just pillage this commercial hub. That powers me up for a little bit. Um, I need also quite like my spearmen to live but I need to pillage something that will give that health just trying to think of the best sort of thing to do right now Samarakand is pretty tough I've got enemy units sort of popping at me from different directions right now let's move the spearmen back a little bit until I can get it a little bit safer and here's the pike and shot right okay this thing's tough that is wonderful I'm going to build an encampment uh, this is going to be a good thing statue of Zeus I'd quite like actually Playing great person. Okay, good. The scientist that heals people. Actually, pretty handy. And again, Saivia are just throwing their units at my units as opposed to actually um, just sort of really sensibly defending themselves, which is quite good. More horsemen. I mean, honestly, do you do you really need to keep throwing all these horsemen at me? It's just, it's just getting a bit boring, you know? 
But if you insist that I continue to attack you, then I will do that. Especially when I'm getting the kills as well. The ha Just disintegrating their army. I have a Cree. Hello, how are you? Uh, where, where do you exist? Oh, you're the ones across the water. If that makes sense. That is their capital, actually. That's quite nice. I'm on 26 techs. Savvy's on 18, Kree's on 15, so we are way ahead of them, technologically speaking. That's good. Everyone's in a dark age except us as well. Let's get three inquiry. We're still going to continue to do this. Oh, look, here are the horse archers. All right, we suspected these guys would come pretty quickly. All right, uh, I need at least one ally here, so shall we try and get these guys on side? Let's say open borders and then all of this stuff. What would you give me for that? Six, okay, it's a pretty terrible deal, but we'll do it just to get them on side. Very good. Okay, right, that should be fine. So this archer attacks that horseman and doesn't kill it. It's a little bit annoying. Okay, you attack there. Uh, this crossbow can attack there. I might actually lose a really weak unit there, but that's okay because I'm still got my powerful ones round and about where it matters. Yeah, look, it just killed my spearman. How dare you? Ugh, I'm gonna condemn Seekism out of rage. Uh, I would like less grievances because grievances are bad for war weariness, they're bad for diplomatic effects, but okay, it doesn't matter. I'm kind of frozen a little bit out of the World Congress at this point, and that's okay. Right, my crossbowmen are just sort of pressing the advantage with Saviour's army. Yes, I can surround the city, yes, that's okay, but I do just want to make sure that I am reducing their army to as close to zero as possible. More iron for the Cree? Yeah, great, wonderful. Um, they actually don't mind me, which is quite nice considering my grievances against the world. Again, please just stop throwing your units at me one by one. It's very predictable. But in the meantime, there is one harbour. Great. That is fantastic. I'm just going to pick up the Warlord's Throne just so that I get a nice production bonus every time I kill an enemy city. Okay, we siege the city now. That is good. Let's bring you to there, you to there, and then we'll get one crossbow to attack the city. I'll plunder to get some gold, and Pike and Shark can start to do the damage. Oh yes. Okay, this city is pretty much dead now, but they've got oh, like various units sort of annoying me right now, so let's just kill that one. Um, I think actually getting the city kill is the most important thing here. So let's get more you to attack, you to attack. This crossbow could attack or it could... Let's just see if I can get this one to attack. Now, am I going to be able to take the city? Unlikely, so I will have to just do one attack. Guarantee the kill. There we go, military engineering has been boosted and feudalism has been boosted. Wonderful. Uh, do I want to liberate it? No, I'm actually going to keep it because it's a pretty good staging post for me. And in the meantime, well, why don't you get ancient walls up quickly? Thank you. The Alhambra would be quite good. That would, in theory, give me extra military policy slot. Terracotta Army gives all of my units a promotion. I'm just I'm just saving this guy for a little bit, just until I know that I'm happy with what I'm getting. Let's get an aqueduct going quickly. Lovely. And so I just heal up all my units quickly. Everyone gets promotions where they want. Arrow Storm is such a lovely promotion. You know what? Actually, thinking about it, maybe I do. Maybe I do want to treat myself to the Terracotta Army. A promotion everywhere would be quite nice. You know what? Let's just do that. Let's do it. Right, let's go to there, and then I'm just going to use my Isidore. There you go, we can get that next turn. Right, onwards. Let's see what we can find in this next city. Looks like, again, they have horsemen, but that is going to be no problem for us. I've also now got provision, which means I can start to spew some more settlers out across the map. And there we go. Terracotta army, done. Look at all those promotions. Nice. All right, let's just quickly get this horseman out the way, like so, lovely. And then my pike and shark can come in. He's pretty powerful against horsemen, actually, but I just need to keep an eye on this one. Oh, McKinsey Temple. I thought they were building the Alhambra for a second. It's gonna get all excited. All right, we've got horseback riding now. That's good. Build you two universities, build two, build two harbors is unlikely. Let's do that one quickly. Make peace. No, 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 no. Until you start offering me all your cities, which they may do. Yep, they would offer me all the cities. They are that uh, desperate for a peace deal. They think that I'm going to win, that I can just take all their cities from them, actually. Do I want to do that? We'll just kind of have a quick check. 
The thing is, it is debatable as to whether this is actually a feature of the game where they're likely just to accept the peace deal because they know they're going to lose, or it's a glitch where the computer just trade all the cities to you. So in the interest of this guide, I'm going to refuse that deal. I actually don't, I'm not necessarily convinced it is a glitch. I, I, it feels like the sort of thing that they would put into the game as an idea of like, well, maybe that would be a thing. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, for the purposes of this guide, we're going to, we're going to not do that. Okay. Attacking, attacking. Right. Just let all of our other units upgrade quickly as there's nothing to attack. And Sundries is a really good promotion. Emplacement. It helps you to defend against Bear's attacks and let's get some pillaging. Now pillaging is a really important thing for Babylon, don't forget, because I take a penalty to my science per turn, but not the science I pillage. So pillaging, really important. I always admire the amount of units that Scythia can pump out on a turn-by-turn -turn basis. The ability to just sort of double throw units at you is, is, is impro- like, I, I, I do like it. It is, it is one of the nicer things about watching watching an AI play. They do have a good sense of like how to use that bonus. Right, I'm gonna go attack, attack, and then start to wear the city down a little bit. We're just gonna force their hand by doing lots of damage to them. Scythia may just do so well as an AI as well. They always are very, very quick to sort of put things up like that. Oh look, ancient walls are going up. Uh, we really should get ourselves um, some support units. The Siege Tower for 400 gold is likely to be the best thing for us, actually. Uh, and we can do some damage to these walls. Oh, hello, look at that. This crossbow just took a lot of damage. Ugh. Getting in Victor in my closest war city because he can start to throw some loyalty pressure if needed at the cities I'm taking. I've also got my unique unit just scouting down here to stop barbarians from settling down there because he's a, he's a bit of a pain. All right, so again, Scythia are leaving themselves a little bit open here by just sort of using their units in a very scattered way. That works for me very well. All right, so we've got um, we've got Nita because we've built an aqueduct. I've now got Musketmen because I've built an armory. It's now three Musketmen in order to get inventory. Feudalism, feudalism is good. Feudalism gives you a nice thing, which is feudal contract that lets you build pike and shot quicker. Uh, Renaissance era units. We've got production bonuses. We've got serfdom. Serfdom's a brilliant one. Extra builder slots. You should always have that where you can. Builders are brilliant. All right, this attack has kind of petered out a little bit now, so I'm just going to take as good a peace deal as I can get from them and just build up my army for 10 turns. There's no harm in doing that, but I'd rather not lose all my units. I'm taking damage here. I've got some money now to repair. So it's just never a bad thing, just sort of taking stock, regrouping, going again. I've got more pike and shot coming. I mean, these guys are super tough and they are disintegrating the walls, but I'm just getting the siege towers. I just, as I say, they threw the walls up at the wrong moments and that's okay. We just need to take stock and have another go. Especially because I've now got mercenaries on the radar. Mercenaries lets you upgrade your units for super cheap. It's really good. In the meantime, one more district than I'm allowed. Nice. Oh, that's pretty cool. And I get printing as well. So that gives me a little bit more strength against the enemy. One thing I'm just going to do quickly is build a military engineer after this builder and build two forts. Because as soon as I've got two forts, I can get field cannons. 60 range strength. Those things should be a lot tougher. And here is some nitre over there. Oh, my great general. Oh, nice. Right, this great general is really handy. That, again, is a nice plus five military strength. So look, you see, just taking 10 turns, regathering, regrouping, we're all good. Anyway, as I say, nitre mine, that gives me rifling, which is uh, all the way up to here, the rangers, which are really, really tough units, but they are scouts. So we don't want to rely on those ones too much. But look, that's all the way up over here. Brilliant. Siege tower engaged and with the pike and shots. Got four envoys, so I'm just going to just nab that city-state. Oh, find the Cliffs of Dofa as well. So we are now allies with Anshen. Levy the military. 505 gold I could do in that one. Oh, look at that. A bunch of it actually had already been levied by Saivia, so that is not a bad result for us, really. Oh, three turn pike and shots. Nice. And a military engineer who I'm actually, weirdly enough, going to be building forts with. That's a very strange feeling. And to do that, I need two bombards. And I need more nitre to do that one. Oh, I didn't think that through. Damn. Right, the only way we're going to do this is if we just start settling out now, making sure that we can pick up as much nitre as we can. We've got all these tiles that I'm 
finally getting around to improving, making sure we're doing that. I've got more pike and shot on the way. We've got a bunch of stuff now. This is this is good. We're still seven techs ahead of Saivir as well, which I should point out is pretty good. Can't complain about that one. I would like to give anti-cavalry a boast. If we can do that, that'd be pretty handy. And yeah, culture bombs for me. Why not? It's unlikely to go through. Anti-cavalry. No, it did go through. And I get culture bombs. Wow, I actually won both of those. Don't know how that happened. But look, we've now got four piking shots on the front line. I think we're almost ready to declare again. And look at these. Look at these tiles. Two food, five production. Oh, lovely. All right, time for another formal war this time. That's good. I wonder if we can get the Cree involved. They do know who these people are. What would you take? No, they don't want to do it. What? Make this deal more equitable. Oh no, one. Okay, fine. They will join in. Good. All right, so I have an ally against Tamiris, but I'm just sort of luring their units out. I've got a nice line of pretty reinforced hardcore units here. Yeah, I should be fine. All right, that's... um. That's pretty good. Look at that. 82. I can just go bump and walk in. Alright, that's um I'm I'm a little bit more reassured about how strong our army is now. We've finally upgraded to pike and shots that can do a little bit of damage against cavalry units. Should need to make sure I've got my uh great person involved as well. Oh Timur. Oh god, I've got two great generals now. It's rare I get even one. But there we go. This is just the effect of having uh, Babylon producing all of these great general points. Got nine of the things coming in per turn at the moment, which is pretty cool. In the meantime, look, my pike and shot are just continuing to melt, absolutely disintegrate the Scythian army, which is pretty cool. Oh, the pike and shot can move so far because they, of course, have a great general that's uh, spurring them on in the heat of the moment, which is lovely. And yeah, they can do a lot of damage against the city. That is a wonderful thing. You know what? It's actually worth attacking. Let's just do it. Especially because I can actually siege it with my crossbows. Okay, right. This should be a slightly easier war now. They're attacking my pike and shot, but unfortunately for them, I, uh, I'm just leveling up rather than them hurting me. Let's just move you to there, and then we'll get the crossbows to do more city attack damage. I'm just going to get you to pillage whilst we can, because cartography would be a very handy upgrade for me. And you know what? No, pillaging the road is a silly idea. But this city's almost dead now. Yes, the feudal contract's still on, serfdom, urban planning, these are all wonderful things for now. Actually, oh no, I need to, do I need to upgrade my units? Not quite yet. Mercenaries is not quite ready for that one. Um, let's just quickly get this crossbow to kill. There we go. We can get some era score from that one. And, oh, Grants extra wonder production, doubled if the wonder is from the ancient or classical era. Imhotep, oh, oh yes. An ancient or classical wonder, such as um, the mausoleum of Herikia Carnassus, my favorite. I'm just gonna punk you right down immediately. Yes, it will give my city a little bit of food grief, but it doesn't matter. Tech-wise, uh, it doesn't really matter what I do, but I think I'm gonna be building musketmen anyway, so quite like the idea of have the guild civic banking is probably the one that I need to be rushing right now. Uh, it doesn't stop me from actually needing to do more pillaging. Feudal contract, I'm just thinking about getting the raid. Raid obviously gives me more gold, more culture, more science when I pillage things, which is really helpful. But I think I actually need feudal contract at the moment, so for now that's okay. Um, what I could do though, is I could switch governments to autocracy. Autocracy, uh, no, uh, Oligarchy, which gives me plus four combat strength with my um, Pike and Shot, which is quite handy. So Serfdom uh, is good. I'm just thinking, uh, yeah, we will get Raid in. Serfdom, okay, good. That's lovely. All right, so now that that's done, 178 science is a lot better. 18 turns worth of science, technically, that was. <laughs> If that's what you believe. Choke points is an amazing upgrade. Let's get that pike and shot just to take the city. Keep it. And Victor, through you come to my new city. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, and Matthew Wilkinson for all of your support on Patreon, as well as everybody else who likes the video, comments, joins Discord, and generally makes this community really good fun. Thank you very much, guys. You keep me going.